Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League 2 predictions um, results. Um, obviously Football League kicks off this coming weekend so I thought for this season I'll do League 2, League 1, Championship and the Premier League. So there'll be uh, weekly predictions on this channel for the uh, in, uh, Football League and the Premier League so you know there's going to be a lot of uh, content coming up on this channel um, you don't know how it works I'll try and predict the final results of every game which is highly impossible uh, not impossible just highly implausible but you know let's see how we go with this um, but guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game I'm going to kick off with is Salford versus Stevenage. Um, Salford have done ever so well, um, you know, basically getting from non-league to Premier League. Um, I know a lot you're going to say about the Class 92, obviously they own the club, or, you know, where money and... But no matter how much money you throw at a club, you still got to perform on the pitch. Um, I mean, if you look at Fulham, for example, you're are uh, you're gonna you still, as I said, you still got to perform on the pitch. You still have to, you know, buy the right players and key players and stuff like that. Um, but for this game, I've gone for a two-one Salford win. Um, I'm expecting them to hit the ground running. Um, but I know Stephen is a good player as well, so you know I'm expecting quite a good game. But I'm still expecting Salford to come out on top. The next game is Bradford versus Cambridge um, United. Believe it or not, I still remember Bradford playing in the Premier League all them years ago. Um, you know, it sort of gives my age away just a bit. Um, but I think you look at Bradford, and this is a club you can actually look at and start to say about how hard it is to get back into divisions like going up. Um, but I think Bradford do okay in League 2. Cambridge, just a mid-table League 2 team. Um, I know some of you would disagree with that. Please feel free to put your comments below and your score predictions and, you know, wherever you, you know, put your score predictions and your opinions below. Because I also like to know what, you're, what you think as well. Um, but Cambridge, I'd, I'll say we're a middle League 2 team. Um, nothing really special. Uh, but I believe most of these teams could be possibly League 1 Championship team in the future. Let's hope so. Um, but I've gone with a 3 1 Cambridge United win for that one. The next one is Carlisle versus Quilly, a long trip for Quilly um, Town and their fans. Um, you know, Quilly, they do okay um, year in, year out. Carlisle, you know, they. They've had their ups and downs, same as any other club. But with this one, I've gone with a one all scoreline. Um, I think Quarley should be happy with that if they do all cry with that result. The next one is Colchester versus Port Vale. Colchester, um, you know, they have played higher divisions in the past. Um, Port Vale is yet again just that mid-range League 2 team as far as I'm concerned um, but with this one I've gone with a 2-0 Colchester win the next one is Crew Alexander versus Plymouth um, now these teams I think if I believe it I think it's right anyway um, both played in the old Division 1. A lot of you probably don't know, but there was Division 1, Division 2. There's no, um, like, Championship, League 1, League 2, 
conference and all. It was just literally Division 1, Division 2 and conference. Um, but obviously there's a lot more divisions now. So I think it's had the growth of the game as well, doing it the, the way they are doing it. But with this one, I've gone nil-nil. Um, I'm expecting a very middle-ranged um, defensive game from both sides, which I've gone with that result. The next one is Exeter City versus Macclesfield. Um, Exeter do okay. Um, you know, when you look at this league, like I'm looking at it now, you know, week one, who will end up in the playoff? Uh, who will go up to league one? Who will end, you know, this is a really tough division. Um, especially because how low it is, but for grassroots, I do think it's a good division to play in. Um, back to the game, um, Exeter, you know, I think, you know, it's one of them teams where middle table-ish, um, Macclesfield roughly around the same, but I've gone with a 2-0 Exeter win. The next one is Forest Green versus Oldham. Um, now Forest Green, uh, you know, the way they get a wall to in that, um, you know, fair play to them. Uh, Oldham, yet again, they're just really... I think Oldham should be maybe a division up, but obviously we're not, so... But I've gone with a 2-0... No, I haven't. I've gone with a one old Oldham win, sorry. Um, the next one is Lake Norman versus Chapman Town. Lake Norman have had their trouble in the past. Um, you know, falling out of the Football League, getting back into it. Um, but Cheltenham are just, I think, going to hit the ground running this year round. So I've gone with a 2 0 Cheltenham win. The next one is Morecambe versus Grimsby Town. Um, you know, Morecambe and Grimsby, I'm expecting a very 50-50 um, game. So I've gone with a nil-nil for that one. Um, the next one is Newport County versus Ma uh, Ma uh, Mansfield. Got around the end. Um, where... I've got to praise Newport because of the FA Cup runs they've been having. Um, you know, nice little ground they do. For a League 2 club, I don't think they do too badly in the FA Cup. Uh, so with this one, I've gone with a 2-2 scoreline. The next one is Northampton Town versus Walsall. Walsall's... Walsall's uh, Football ground I've been past many times. I've got family up north, so um, you know what a nice little ground they've got. Go, you know, playing Northampton Town, as I said. Um, but I've gone with a three 0 scoreline to Northampton Town for that one, only because I'm expecting Northampton Town to really hit the blocks running this year as well. The last one for this weekend. Um, is Scunthorpe United versus Swindon Town. Um, not knowing a lot about neither team really. Um, all I know is that Swindon Town does tend to hit the ground a lot more running coming into the first few games. So I've gone with a 3 1 scoreline for Swindon Town for that one. Um, but you know, put your predictions down below, put your comments down below, do feel free. Um, but guys, I've got to bring this video to an end, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.